Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of the United States, and he also was a prolific inventor. He was very interested in atmospheric electricity and used the bells during his research on lightning. Here's our setup to replicate the experiment of Franklin. Let's see, we have this steel ball with a thread attached to it and hangs from this piece of wood that I made from a wood stick like this. We have two soda cans made of aluminum and connected to each can are the terminals of this little high voltage power supply. You need a minimum of 3000 volts, maybe less if you live in a dry place. And we have this 3, three volt battery to feed the power supply. So let's see the experiment in action. I'm going to connect the power supply. And let me give an initial impulse to the ball. If the distance between the cans is shorter, the ball will move faster. If you don't have a steel ball, you can take a ping pong ball and cover it with aluminum foil and it also works. And you can even use aluminum foil made into a ball like this. An empty aluminum can can also be used. Let me give you a brief explanation of the physics of the bells. When we connect the power supply, the left can is positively charged and the right one becomes negatively charged. The ball in the middle, as all materials, has both positive and negative charges. However, in metals, the negative charges are free to move around and the positive ones are fixed to the atoms. When the ball touches the positive can, the negative charges are attracted and flow into it. Then the electromotive force moves the charges into the negative can. Now the ball is positively charged since like charges repel, there is a force that pushes the ball away from the positive can. Likewise, opposite charges attract, and there is also a force that attracts the ball to the negative can. The ball moves and touches the right can, and negative charges are transferred into it. Since there is an excess of negative charge in the ball, the same forces appear but now in the opposite direction. The ball moves to the left and the cycle repeats. Thank you.